storyline were just absolutely incredible. I was sad when they were over. I cried in the beta. I cried in live. Uh, it's it's such a compelling story, and to leave on such a cliffhanger for Nayrell and Mephisto, I'm really, really interested to see where that goes. So the fact that they've teased that, I'm thrilled. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything, anything more than that. But what about all of you? Are you enjoying it? Hello! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh, hi! All right, um, I'm just gonna die right here, and, uh... <laughs> if we want to, we can. All right, and let's, we're, we're gonna go big high. Hello, I'm Arcane! Hi. Nice to meet you. I have some presents for you. If I want to be heard, okay, yes. All right, I've got some presents for you. I love presents. First of all, we have a Diablo uh, friendship oh, bracelet. Nice. See, I have. I now have two friends. Now you've got two. I have two <laughs> friends now. Yay! Look at me. I also have a pair of Diablo Four <laughs> edition gutter optics glasses. Wow! For you. Nice. So are you are you are rocking these, and how? And now we match. How are they? Uh, are they working for you? I will say that this uh, this whole area is so red lighting anyway. That, like, there's no blue light to <laughs> filter no, out in general. There's no blue light to be found anywhere? Not really, no. Look at me doing product placement already. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, you didn't even have to. Look how good we look, though. I know. We're matchy-match. Matchy-match. Apparently, you have a million friends, or are those all the ones you're just giving away? These are the ones I'm giving away. Okay, yeah. So it's here, look. I've got some some more, like, I got one that says Sanctuary. we got Mephisto, nice. Anarius. Wait, what did you give me? You gave me Diablo? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, do, do you want one of the other ones? No, there? no, I like this. I like Diablo. You like Diablo? I can give you this. See, like, well. Amelia gave me Beautiful and Sin. Oh, that's so good. I saw that one on Twitter. <laughs> nice, yeah, because Tiffany, she has a whole armful, and I was like, I'm intimidated. I only have one, and you have a whole armful. You have way more friends than I do. And she goes, I made these myself. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, then I feel better. That's how I feel. I'm, like, carrying around a bag of them. It's like, these aren't friends. These are just mine. <laughs> What build are you playing? What are we watching? What are you doing? Um, well, currently this is my death screen because uh, <laughs> I got the You see it so rarely, though. I wanted to give you oh, an opportunity yeah, yeah. to look at it. Uh, I'm playing a sorcerer. I'm a sorcerer at heart. Um, I'm doing the chain lightning. That's what I'm doing. Really? Yeah. I love it so much. It feels great. I'm doing I'm doing off meta though because I've 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 leaned hard into crackling energy. It's I, honestly I've been I was having a lot of trouble with mana management and different things like that and totally. in movement. And then I got super duper lucky with a legendary that just makes it way more fun. So oh, I get these yeah, like, blood yeah, yeah. explosions with the ghosts that go everywhere. Nice. So, yeah, I've got the. I'm just relying on that. <laughs> I got the unique amulet that does the crackling energy bonuses, and so Ooh. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm doing that. Plus, I put the paragon crackling. So every time yeah, you do a lightning thing, they go like, yeah, "Don't do the crackling one." I'm like, "Nope, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm all crackling." So honestly, and that's what I, I'm really enjoying this time is like, I feel like I can experiment a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I felt like if I wasn't going into one of the exact builds on, you know, what, whatever guide that I was missing out, I was dying a lot more often. Sure. But here I'm getting to be a lot more creative. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I want to say thank you for letting us use your clip in the opening ceremonies. That was so thank amazing. Thank you for it. <laughs> I mean, like watching you cry in the audience was like, okay, a lot, but it was good. I it mean, was, uh, yeah. I mean, it was very overwhelming. I mean, because we rehearsed over and over and over again. And so that I always like that video, you know, is, precedes my entrance on things. So I always like yeah. try to pull it. Like, and every time I'm like, don't cry, don't cry, don't get, don't get me. I have to have. Positive energy, up energy, gotta be up energy. <laughs> gotta be up energy. Yeah, so that, um, so, but no, I really thank you for that. Cause that, I don't think you realize how much that meant to the dev team. Like, I know that it, it, I've seen some of the stuff you've said about for you, but, yeah. you know, in the moment, because that's one of the goals we had was to try to make people uh, it feel more inclusive and feel like, you know, one of the big things for Diablo 4 was about choice and being able to right. look the way you wanna look, play the way you wanna play. And, and you kind of put a real, like, exclamation point behind that for us and we all felt that on the dev team so i just want to say thank you for putting that out there that was amazing absolutely thank you so much for celebrating it yeah it's great i mean I, you know and some some people ask me well why why would you want to look like your character in the video game it's a video game why not why not <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fun totally totally i try to the funny thing is like i I don't know. I still haven't come to terms with, with being the white beard guy. So I'd be like, oh, I'm going to make my character and like find my red beard and everything else. And then you're like, like wait. wait a second. I had to change my avatar on Xbox oh, no. because I was like, oh, no, it doesn't look like, you know, and the same thing with you do the phone, little phone avatar. And I'm yep. like, 
I had like the red beard and all this stuff. I'm like, no, that doesn't look like me anymore. I got to go white beard. Oh, God. You know. I know. I tell people I don't have to worry about going gray. I'm just going to go white. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you got to go. You got to have that. I call it having white beard energy. You got to have that white beard energy. I love it. I love it. It's so nice. So, yeah. so what level are you? You're 58 on your way up? I'm 58 on my way up. And I will say the leveling experience was so much faster and better now. Yes. I, I'm genuinely... It feels more rewarding to just, all right, I've got a few minutes. I'm going to log on. I'm going to just do what I can here. Oh, um, sure, yeah. Rather than I need to, I don't know, save four hours and I'm going to get three levels. Right. No, I, yeah. And the combination, the fact that the blood harvest kind of is part of the Grim Whispers as well. Yes. Like the, 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 the Like, for me, that's the big thing. It's like when I jump in now, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the council and throw in, you know, 150 or whatever if somebody else is there. Do that a couple of times, go cash it in at a tree and go have a full inventory of legendaries I have to go deal with because my stash is full. Okay, yeah, I mean, nobody look at my stash. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that's like my biggest weak point. It's like, I know I need to read everything and I know everything is going to be marginally better, but man, I need to get a different set of glasses and read these books because it, it is a... It's a struggle. Well, I'm, I'm in the hotel right now. I'm playing on my rogue ally. So I'm like playing handheld in, in, in bed at the at the hotel. And I'm going like, oh, I think I'll sort my stash later. I think that I'm the- Exactly. It's always like, oh, you know, in a little while. I'll, I'll <laughs> take care of that when everyone else logs off. And I'm just having to yeah. have some extra time. And then you look at the overwhelmingness and you're like, better not. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a good thing my brother and I play, and he lives on the East Coast. And so when it gets to about midnight, it's 3 a.m. his time. So he's like, okay, it's late. i got to go to bed. And I'm like, cool, that gives me a couple of hours <laughs> to sit here and do my I stash. I just got a short. <laughs> uh, I, literally, I, had, I had one of my friends that I was playing with. She like, wow, what did you just pick up? And I was like, I picked up. <laughs> I don't know. We'll deal with that later. Exactly. We're going to save that. Okay, well, I didn't want to completely disrupt your stream, but I just wanted to say hi because I was trying to not run into you. Not a disruption at all. <laughs> this is a wonderful thing. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming and streaming and being a Diablo partner and everything. It's uh, exciting. And I love I love everything you're doing. Thank so, you so much. I appreciate it. It's wonderful to meet you. <laughs> Anytime. And good luck on the campfire chat. I'm really excited. I'll be watching it from here. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not on it. So I know everybody's afraid of my dad like, jokes. So I will, I'm will. i letting smart people talk and not, not silly people talk. So You know what? From what I've heard, they've been rehearsing some dad jokes <laughs> to help keep you on the stage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I may have said, I may, once I heard the rehearsal, I'm like, you know, if I was there, I would say something like this, and they're like, "Okay, fine, we'll try to work that in." So, oh, good. I'll be there in spirit, but not in, in uh, actually there. But all right, well, Great. I'll let you get back to it. Thank you so much. Hey, to everyone on stream, I <laughs> uh, hope you're having fun with season two, and uh, yeah, see you later. All right, have a good one. Now that's what I call a surprise. <laughs> all right. Well, that was fun.